Hi, glad you could join us. I'm Annette Sherman. This is Community. The West Coast Black Theater Troupe, they've come a long way since their inception, and for many good reasons first. And I would like to say foremost, but there's a lot of wonderful people involved. Nate Jacobs is first on my list, their founder and hardworking artistic director who, from the get-go, had faith in the theatrical excellence of his troupe. He chose outstanding performers and worked with them to create the caliber ensemble that he knew was possible. He chose fascinating presentations and displayed, the presentations actually themselves displayed the dramatic and vocal expertise that quickly delighted and genuinely entertained audiences. Audiences that ultimately became supporters of Black, the Black Theater Troupe, and currently are helping to create the new fabulous Black Theater Troupe complex in downtown Sarasota. But no matter how talented and hardworking Nate's one person can be, not to manage to take care of the many important aspects of the complex and the responsibility of WCBBT, for, for instance, the function of executive director. And it, it, it can't be one person is what I'm trying to say. No matter how wonderful that one person is, they're a vitally important and significant jobs that have to be done. Now, my guest, my two guests, are very, very capable people. And I'm going to introduce my first guest, who's Julie Leach. And Julie and Nate Jacobs, she's Nate Jacobs' assistant. No, I'm, I'm, I'm not saying it the way it should be. <laughs> Julie Leach is the executive director. Got your title yes. correct. And Joey James. Joey James is company manager. And without these, they're, they're very capable, and their jobs are, are very difficult and enormous. Uh, in fact, I'm going to ask Julie and Joey pretty much the same question so that we can get to know them kind of quickly, because we have some interesting other pictures for you and some video talking about the new complex and what's going to be there, and it is exciting. OK, this is for each of you. Let's start with Julie. Okay. Uh, where are you from originally? I'm originally from Grand Rapids, Michigan. OK, Michigan. OK, and what brought you to Sarasota? Really, my husband and I transferred here for his work 17 years ago. OK. Well, we're glad you're here. Thanks. Same two questions. Where are you from originally, Joey? Uh, my family's in Chicago. I'm a military brat born in North Carolina. OK. What brought you uh, to Sarasota? Uh, after I graduated, I started an internship at another theater in town uh, doing an acting educational program for like two years. OK. OK. Uh, now, just a bit about your family. We like to know sometimes when you're in theater, particularly males, if you were my son, I would be worried about you earning a living because it's not the best known uh, field to be in to, to earn a good living and, and do very well. I don't think it's always that way with female, with, with girl children. But uh, about your family. Let's see, I have a husband and two grown children. My daughter's almost 30 and my son's 27. They both live in New England. And um, my father's still living too, and he's 90. How do they feel about you being so immersed with the theater? Oh, they're very excited about it. It's a whole family project. Everyone runs around with West they're Coast all involved. Black Theater t-shirts on all the time. <laughs> How does your family feel about your chosen profession? Um, I think they are coming around. They're what? They're coming around. You know, they see that I enjoy it. So. I like his positive attitude. Yeah. They probably may never get around, but they're coming around. They're coming around. around. I think that obviously family is pretty much all the same. I mean, they love their children and they want them to be successful and they want them to be able to mainly to support right. their needs. Right. So I guess as you become more and more successful, they become more and more accepting 
Yeah, I imagine once I get to Hollywood, everyone will come I didn't around. hear you. <laughs> once I get to Hollywood, everyone will come around. Um, education and training, Joey. Uh, I went to school in South Carolina, Claflin University. I actually majored in English, uh, but I was very heavily involved in the theater program. And then I trained again at Florida Studio Theater in their acting program. And uh, now I'm at West Coast, kind of doing the same thing. I didn't hear that last part. Now I'm at West Coast, working with Nate and uh, learning a lot from him and other actors. Education and training, Julie. Well, let's see. I went to college at Johns Hopkins University, and then I got an MBA from the University of Chicago, and I'm a CPA by background also. Okay, so. having nothing to do with theater. No, I'm really on the business side of the theater, so all my so business background is So what your training and helpful. experience was was helpful in terms of the function you, you, you've taken charge of now. Yeah, very much so. And I'm learning a lot about theater, and it's very fun to learn. I can imagine. You yeah. learned, the, 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 I was going to say the easy way, but it was probably the hard way because you didn't know, and then you, you had to quickly learn. And But I think that you were if I'm not mistaken, a theater lover from the get-go. I have been, and then I was on the board of the theater, so I got to learn about that quite a bit while being on the board before I became the executive director. And Howard Millman was our board president then, and he, being retired artistic producing director at the Oslo, knew a lot about theater. And we had Eva Slane on our board, who also knew a lot about theater. So. They trained the rest of us. <laughs> okay. It's, it's very, very uh, important that you give credit and, and very wonderful that you do. And you're absolutely right. Yeah. Because what you're doing, the function that you have, is very extremely difficult, but extremely important. Oh, thank you. And lost sight of, I think, of creative people get involved with theater and they forget the, the, the business end of it. Yeah. And that yeah. can be the demise, yep. or it could start a very difficult period of time. When someone is excellent and knows the whole economic aspect of it, that's, that's a gift from God. Yes. <laughs> or from your family, we allow yeah. you, to, not yeah. allow you, but encourage you, and I'm sure yeah. they do because they know you love doing it. Yeah. Okay. What brought you to the West Coast Black Theater Troupe? Uh, interestingly enough, I was at the principal's luncheon, and Nate was there, and I was performing a poem with three friends, and I met Nate, and he, uh, I saw him again like three months later at Starbucks, and he was like, do I know you? And I'm like, no, and he's like, I need to get your number, and I'm like, oh my gosh, the artistic director wants my number, why? <laughs> so then we end up uh, having a lunch, and I tell him about, you know, what I wanted to do with my career, and he tells me, well, I have a job for you, and initially I'm like, mm, but I came around, and uh, I love the theater, and that's how I came to the theater, Nate Jacobs. Well, you, you're obviously a natural because you're very talented and multi-talented, multifaceted. You taught various different things. Uh, but do you, if given the opportunity, if I say, if I'm your godmother, and I said, okay, I'm going to give you your wishes, whatever they be, would it be that you wanted to perform? Would it be that you wanted to do what you're doing now? Well, I do perform, so I get to you do. You do perform. Mm -hmm. I get to do what I do and also perform. Oh, it encompasses everything. I thought you just worked with, you just taught. And no, I'm very fortunate that I also have performance Okay, so you're getting all the, yeah. the fun and, and, and the things you really love to do. And same thing with, with mm -hmm. this lovely lady here. Mm -hmm. yes. Okay. Uh, brought you to the West Coast Black Theater Troupe. What brought you initially? Well, Christine Jennings, who was the executive director before me and a friend of mine outside of the theater, she was reconstituting the board when she came on uh, seven years ago. The theater Had was struggling. Had you been to the performances of the Black Theater Group? No, actually, I'm the only board member that had never been to a show when I joined the board. Let's say, <laughs> let's put the word gullible in front of that no. because you didn't know whether they were. I knew Nate and I knew about his project. I just hadn't uh, seen okay. the If theater. you know Nate, yes. you know the, yes. the gifts yes. that yes. he has yes. and how, yes. how wonderful he yes. is and uh, you can't miss. Yes. You can't miss. Incidentally, I, I, I have this and I'm holding this up. This is uh, Nate Jacobs' Community Video Archive video. And he was inducted into the Hall of Fame, uh, what year was this, 2013. And this is his life story, well, up to the point we, we did it. 
Uh, we are thinking about extending some of these because some of our honorees have gone on to do incredible things, to continue doing incredible things. But if you go to any Sarasota County Public Library, you can borrow this just like a book, no charge. And you might want to find out because he really had a very interesting childhood. Mm -hmm. And one of four brothers, is he? No, I think there's nine. Yeah. And a lot of brothers. <laughs> nine. <laughs> yeah, and, and, or eight uh, brothers and one sister. It's a very interesting aspect in this family. Well, if you're interested, you can go and pick up one of those, as I said, free of charge in any Sarasota County Public Library. If you can't get them because they may be out of them, very often these things are very popular, just call me and I'll give you the number later on and I'll uh, see that you get a copy, you can borrow one. Okay. Uh, I'd like each of you, to, well, you talked a little bit about it, Joey, uh, but give us a rundown of what your daily activities uh, might consist of, and I would bet a lot of evenings as well. <laughs> so what you might, what we might find you doing if we were to go to the uh, Black Theater Troupe uh, facility at any given time. Joey? Uh, well, um, I take a lot of phone calls. Um, people want to meet with Nate, so I try to set up those meetings. Um, I remind Nate of appointments. Um, I deal with, uh, like, Vehicle issues, um, you know, we have company vehicles. A couple uh, of what? Company vehicles that have been uh, graciously donated to us for, so the actors can get around as they're staying with us. And sometimes they have issues, I deal with that. Um, right now I'm touring with Jazz Links, so I'm playing the character of Langston Hughes. We go to high schools and we present kind of uh, a presentation of the Harlem Renaissance. So that's something that takes up a lot of my time. Okay, I'm back to your fairy godmother again. If I could grant you one wish, Regarding your career, regarding what you, what would it be? Um, Go for it. Just be, <laughs> to just consistently work in my art. Um, I'm, I'm a writer, I'm a performer. I just want to consistently work. That would be my wish. I don't need to be famous or rich. I just want to survive, be able to pay all my bills, okay, and consistently Lord. work. Give it, give it to him Thank because you. he really seems like he's, he you. deserves it. And he's that talented, okay? <laughs> It'll happen. Thank you. Uh, my you, daily life. I have a feeling you've got what you want now. <laughs> oh, yes. Because I'm... the new complex is going to be so exciting. Let's talk about the new complex. Okay, so we are redeveloping the two buildings that we own. We own two buildings at Orange and 10th Way. One is a theater building. One is an empty shell concrete building called the Bins Building. For people that know in town, it's a historic building built in the 1920s. And that front building, we're going to start remodeling very soon. We've raised $3.3 million towards a $6 million remodeling project for both buildings. But we can start on the first one. And that will house our education programs on the first floor. And our administrative offices will be on the second floor. So for the first time, we'll all be on one campus. Right now, our administrative offices are in rented space downtown. We'd love to move to our campus with those. Well, I, I hadn't been to the Black Theater Troops performance in a long time, but I did have the opportunity recently, and it was the girl, the girl uh, uh, singers of girl the 60s. Groups, yep. Girl groups of the 60s. And I wanted to say, that theater is very comfortable. Oh, thank you. It is a very comfortable, it's beautifully laid out, isn't it? Mm -hmm. And you can see from anywhere, and, and that's, sometimes theaters will say that, but it's not true. But it is true in the current theater. So oh, if you, you are going to go uh, to the Black Theater Troops performance, uh, and you can get all that information. In fact, let's put that on the screen, the number to call, because we want them to check out what's there. And there is the number to call, 36615. Is that 05? Yes, yes. Okay, 1505, easy number, 366-1505, and check out what's there and get tickets, and you'll be very comfortable and enjoy the show because the talent is extraordinary, and the costuming and the enthusiasm and almost everything about what happens at the Black Theater Troupe is, is exciting oh, and you. very heartfelt. Uh, which is another very extraordinary kind of feeling that everybody is 
very excited and enthusiastic about it yes. and, and working toward getting bigger, I was going to say, and getting better, but they, I don't know that they can get better because they're just about <laughs> excellent at the, at the height of, the, of, the, of their, of their um, extreme talent right now. Mm -hmm. You'll love the performances, so get there. And, I, and the audiences are just devoted. Yeah, uh, and, yeah. and I don't we're know if lucky. they're devoted or if they're just thrilled with the fact that the, that the performances are so delightful and so yeah. absolutely entertaining. Okay, uh, I do want to see some of these pictures that you brought because okay. it, uh, please tell us, Julie, uh, what we see. Okay. Uh, whenever you're ready, what do we see? So that is our Jazz Links program that Joey performs in. Are you in that photo, Joey? Yes, all the way in the right yes. corner. Yes, so um, that's where we take the Harlem Renaissance music dancers, poets, writers of the Harlem Renaissance into the Sarasota County High Schools, 11th grade curriculum program. It's on Ed Explore, and this is the second year we've been doing it. Okay, next picture. That's the whole Jazz Links team. Mm -hmm. That's the what? The Jazz Links team, all the characters in Jazz Links, okay. all the actors. All right. Is there somebody? Well, we're moving on because we want to see all of them. Okay. Yeah. This is a scene from our Stage of Discovery summer camp production. So we had our first youth theater intensive last summer. And that's now, where is that production performed? That's at our theater. At the theater? Yep. Okay. And these, and these young people are part of the summer camp group? Mm -hmm. Yes, we had, what, 20 students, yeah. Joey? 20? Joey, you teach that? Yes. You, okay. Yeah. Are you in charge of it, or are you teaching some, some aspects He's of both. it? Both. Yes. Both. Okay. So what, what goes on? What do you teach? Um, I, well, next, this year I'm doing acting. Last year I did some improv, which the kids love. Um, and then uh, I do a little bit of directing. Uh, the show. Nate was the uh, big director, so when he wasn't there, I would kind of uh, take over as the director of the show. The you sing, you dance. He does. Yes. You act. Yes. Anything you don't do on stage? Um, I don't know, like somersaults and stuff like that. <laughs> <laughs> okay, uh, next picture. That's also from the same show. Mm -hmm. That's Clover Bell. And it was called yeah. Rockin' Down Fairytale Lane. <laughs> so these are all kind of fairytale characters. We had Snow White. Okay, what do we see there? Because Julie wasn't Jack. sure. This is Jack from Jack and the Beanstalk. And then that's his cow that he had to sell, who he loves so much. And he's singing to her about how sad he is. To your kid audiences. Yeah. No, no, no. They're adults. The, they're adults. Mm -hmm. all do the you adults do like anything it. for kids? Yeah, well, they brought their, you know, yeah. their children and things. It's a family show. We had both, and we actually had some young people from Easter Seals that came oh, to the show, mm -hmm. too. Okay, next picture. That's the whole camp, all the students that were in the camp. Well, that's a lot of people yeah. there. It was a yeah. big production, <laughs> 20, <laughs> 20 children. That's, that's, that's a massive uh, responsibility, taking care of that many people, just making sure they're all in attendance. They're great kids. They were really, really great. But you don't mind at all? Nope. Okay, I, I got that 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 uh, idea. Okay, let's see uh, the next picture. That's our new going to be our new campus. The drawing of what it will look like when it's finished, and that front building is the historic building, the Bins Building. I was talking about. Now, is there anything? Is there anything that people can still get into and put their name on? Oh yes, there's okay. a lot. So, so the, we you would do love want more call. support. You do want to call. The audience and and uh, people who are watching, and see if you can. In fact, it's three six six fifteen oh five, and see if you can in fact name something after your family, and be remembered through that, because the the Black Theater Troupe will get just bigger and better and more wonderful and bigger audiences in this community because that's what that's they're they're so talented. And the work that they're doing is so excellent. So if you want to become part of it, it's still, there's still time to get involved in the new complex that's being built. Okay, we have some video. Yes. And what is this video of? The video is of the two education programs and then a little interview with Chris Eisenberg, who experienced our education who I program I interviewed for about when he was about years. eight years old. Wow. Yeah. And he was a, a young... Uh, what is the wonderful performer who unfortunately passed away when he was very young? Oh, Michael Jackson. Yes, oh, yeah. Michael Jackson. Yeah. 
and he was uh, he fashioned himself somehow as a young Michael Jackson, but he had all the moves, and you knew that that kid was going somewhere. Yeah. Okay, let's see the film. Summer 2016, we debut Stage of Discovery Summer Musical Intensive Camp for Teens. In addition to our season of shows, we provide opportunities for young artists to learn and develop their talents by changing their lives through the performing arts. WBTT is proud to offer our Young Artist Program, which gives the artists of WBTT an opportunity to present a one-person showcase where all the proceeds go toward the development of their professional careers. It's guaranteed to support any weight or size. Well, you know, the West Coast Black Theater Troupe is, has really been a stepping stone um, for me and many others. I uh, came into the theater, you know, when I was nine years old, so it's been 10 years, and I can really say that it's outside of being a great platform for me to, you know, showcase my art, um, kind of a second family for me. Um, I'm an only child, so it's given me a bunch of big brothers and sisters that um, I've been longing for for a long time. So it's, it's a really good place for an artist um, to not only become the best artist they can be, but to become the best young man or young woman they can be as well. I, I really am in awe oh, of the Black Theater Troupe because there's so much happening and so many wonderful things. And sometimes theater organizations can start up and they're not somehow winning the hearts and minds and, and souls, if you will, of the, of the audience, of, of the community. Not so with the Black Theater Troupe. Not so Thank with, it, well, all you have to do is meet Nate. Yeah, that's true. And see him on stage just once, but if you see, then you want more, because he is just superb, and the people he chooses and the people he works with are all excellent. Mm -hmm. uh, these yeah. two are an example of the people that he chooses and the people who want to work with Nate Jacobs and the Black Theater Troupe because it is such an excellent group, and I, I know that you both must derive a enormous amount of pleasure and pride Thank you. from being with the Black Theater Troupe mm -hmm. in our community. And we love having you. We love, we love what you do. Thank you. So Annette. that's why people are getting out there and writing these checks. <laughs> writing checks. Did you hear me? <laughs> <laughs> writing checks to see to it that the new complex is going to have everything that is necessary to allow this very talented and eager group to continue with the magnificent work that they've been doing and they intend to continue doing and pass it along and train the young people as Joey is doing and I just um, sometimes it is so exciting to, mm -hmm. to, to have groups such as yourselves on the program that it makes me so proud of our community oh, thank you. that we understand we're such a theater loving community. Mm -hmm. yes. And uh, you talked about, about uh, people who are help and who work with you and they all do it because they love theater and they love what you're doing. Because yeah. they're not being paid big salaries, right, no. Joey? <laughs> 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 but the fact is that we, they need your help. I don't want to make it sound as if they have all the help that they need. They still need help. Yeah, so yeah. call them and find out what you can do outside of writing a check. And if writing a check is not your thing, or there isn't, you're not a very wealthy person, you can devote some time and energy. There are yeah. people there that do that. Yes. Lots of yeah. volunteers that do that and love it. Yeah. I was When we were there uh, recently, and there's somebody who apparently moves, takes people to their seats, and the, uh -huh. the band, the orchestra, was, was practicing. And when the orchestra was practicing, she was moving with, with the orchestra. <laughs> then they would stop, and she would stop. And then I was waiting for the orchestra to start because I'd watch her do her little gyration. But obviously, she probably loved coming there yes. each evening yes. and yes. working there yes. and seeing the people leave, being so thrilled after seeing the performances. So congratulations you. to both of you, Thank you. For, for a lot of things, mm -hmm. but certainly for deciding to join the Black 
West Coast Black Theater, not the West Coast. The, the, yeah, that's the, right. Uh, the, uh, You're right. What did I, I can't I think of the name. West Coast Black West Coast Theater Black. Troupe. Mm -hmm. West Coast. West Coast. Black Theater Troupe. Gulf Coast. Yeah. West Coast Black Theater Troupe. Mm -hmm. Okay. And before we know it, you'll be back on the program and everything will be built and people will be enjoying oh, the new Oh, that conflict. would be wonderful. <laughs> Very, very soon. Thank you so much, Annette. We have th just a few minutes left, and I do want to remind, we talked about the community video archives. I want to remind everyone that our annual luncheon, which is our only event, will happen April the 24th. That is a Monday, and it's going to be at Michael's on East, ballroom, as usual. And we have four incredible honorees, as we do each year. And all of our honorees come from different walks of life. It might be theater. It might have something to do with having nothing to do with theater, as, as uh, our judge, Lee Hayworth, who was one of the most productive and caring judges in the history of our community, mm -hmm. has subsequently retired. And here is his picture. And he is one of our honorees, an, an incredible, incredible man. Then we have... I want to see the picture. Good, very good. Then we have uh, that's um, uh, the, the wonderful architect, and the wonderful uh, architect Guy is Guy. named Guy Peterson. Guy Peterson. Thank you. I'm glad you're here. <laughs> Couldn't think of it. Guy Peterson has won eighty some odd awards in his thirty six year career, and and the uh, just a fabulous architect and a very very interesting gentleman. Then we have. And this is uh, Dan Bailey, and Dan Bailey is an incredible attorney who is, uh, has a land use attorney, that's what he specializes in, mm -hmm. and he takes, I don't know where he gets the extra time, he devotes countless hours to numerous uh, organizations in our mm -hmm. community, and uh, is just, just an ex Extraordinary, extraordinary man. And last but not least is Ian Webb. Ian Webb has taken our ballet and, uh, to national and international uh, fame. Uh, and it's just uh, something quite interesting and, and unusual because before that we were a comfortable ballet group in a lovely little community, but now we are known throughout the world. Black Theater Troupe, we're going to change their name to the best black theater troupe in <laughs> the country or in the world. Thank so you. we'll get used to that. Okay. It, it's going Thank to happen. You. You're just so terrific. Very talented, <laughs> very handsome, and very pleasant young man. I'm happy Thank to you. meet you. Of course, I knew this lady for a long time. We're out of time. All I can say is see you next time. Thank you for watching. Get to the Black Theater Troupe. They're doing wonderful things. Bye-bye for now. really flew. We bid you adieu from community. If you want to know why we love it here, so check out community. Well, it's a who's who, a what's, when and where show. It's a mover and shakers who care show.